Hi guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 career mode here today for part 52 for the Hungarian Grand Prix. If you're new around here, make sure to like and subscribe for weekly F1 content. This is a strategy we're going to be starting on the mediums and going on to the hards. And this is the grid for the Grand Prix. So it is George Russell on pole position with Sebastian Vettel in the Alfa Romeo P2 alongside him. It's an all Ferrari second row with Leclerc just beating Verstappen. Then it is Valtteri Bottas and Pierre Gasly P5 and P6. P7 and P8 to Sergio Perez and Kevin Magnussen. P9 and P10 is Lewis Hamilton and Carlos Sainz. Just missed out on the top 10 is Roman Grosjean and Daniel Ricciardo. P13 and 14 is Luke Swayboy just pipping Lando Norris in the McLaren. Then it is Alexander Albon alongside Antonio Giovinazzi. Then it is Devon Butler and Brown at P18 miles off his teammate in qualifying. On the final row of the grid is Lance Stroll with Nick Hulkenberg taking a 15 place grid penalty. As here we go then, the five red lights come on here for Hungary and it's lights out and away we go here in Hungary, George Russell gets a good start then uh, compared to Sebastian Vettel, Lance Stroll gets a good one in the background and now we are going to have to absolutely send it down the inside into turn one, we gain two positions there, late on into turn one ahead of Roman Grosjean and Lewis Hamilton, we are just behind um, the other half of Kevin Magnussen will be looking to dispatch him as quickly as we can and just try and get through this field as quickly as we can. There you can see George Russell leads from Sebastian Vettel. It's actually Bottas has had a great start and it's up into P3. And now we are going to sail all the way around the outside we thought about uh, Kevin Magnussen. Thought better though, but he covers the inside line and that doesn't stop us from going around the outside. We go off the track though. That isn't gone well. We actually gained the place off Kevin Magnussen there that I don't know a little a little bit um, dirty there not dirty that's the wrong word we probably should have given the place back to Magnussen we did overtake him off the track but the game said it was legal so we're gonna carry on this is Lewis Hamilton on lap six nothing happening for the open it's five laps of this race round the outside goes Lewis Hamilton on Kevin Magnussen, he's got the job done just about, they're still side by side, Hamilton has the inside line and now he's going to force Magnussen the long way around and force him to back out going through turn two. As they head back up the hill now, it is Hamilton just behind us and now hopefully he doesn't pressure us because we were starting to pull away on lap six so this is further around the lap and Kevin Magnussen is out, he's pulling off, you can see here, and he's gonna. There's a. It's all going on there, there's all Russell gaining a place on his teammate, I think that's Albon. And Kevin Magnussen has an issue when he seems to be driving fine, but that means the safety car is deployed in this Hungarian Grand Prix. We stayed out, and this is pop quiz time what would you do if you if you're the ai do you pit before the safety car or pit after stay tuned for the answer so on lap six we just missed the pits this is everyone this is the ai behind us coming into the pits trundling down the pits they will go they're, they're all going to go onto the hards i do believe or well, most of them do as a guest as you can see here Sergio Perez goes into the hearts, he actually, he actually has um, slow getaway there, having to let everyone go behind. You can see the Ferraris and the Red Bulls, this is what I was going on about in the pop quiz, just staying out. This is George Russell doing a great bit of strategy. Um, he actually pitted the lap after the safety car came out because he was already past the pits when the safety car was called. So he had to pit the lap after and he's gonna work for him possibly we'll have to see how this goes on lap eight the safety car is going to come in you can see there and it is going to be Valtteri Bottas who leads them away 
and Bottas going very, very, very slow there. In his Alfa Romeo, absolutely trundling round. I was kind of trying to get as close as I could to those behind, and they put their foot down now. And I think Bottas is bolted. Yes, he has. It's Max Verstappen in P2. You can see the safety car not getting far, just got into the pits there. And now it's Bottas who leads from Verstappen from. It is Carlos Sainz. Then comes Sergio Perez. So it was um, Stroll that pitted, rather. And now, what will these guys do as we come through on lap 9? And this is the second pop quiz. This is the answer. What do you do? Do you pit before the safety car or pit after? If you're the AI, well, guess what you do? You pit after so at the end of lap nine after they're all been backed up behind the safety car they are all going to go into the pits and now so trundle into the into the pits they come on to lap 10 now and they are going to go on to a set of the hards and there's always oh, gone gone wrong a red bull they both come in that's also held up charles leclerc and oh my god there is um, Carlos Sainz then being held up. He's just sat there and kind of had to have his lunch whilst he's watching his teammate. They all trundle out into the pits, all on the hards. And now they are a full pit stop behind literally everyone else. They're completely out of sync. And now it's going to be a hard race for them. On lap 13, though, we have some team playing to do. George Russell caught us, we let him through because I thought, look, what's the point? We were just going to defend him off, so I let him through. Team orders, George is faster than you. And a couple of laps later, though, I was actually surprised by how slow George Russell was on those hards. Because I thought I'd let him through, like you saw, and he would just bolt off into the distance. And as you can see, we kind of stuck with him, it weren't till the lap that I well, pitted, lap 17, where he started to pull the gap. There was times where I was actually getting close enough where I could have re-overtaken him, but that was literally a night point. So he's on the one stop, we are doing the one stop, so we could be in, if we play our cards right, for a very, very, very good result here at the Hungarian Grand Prix. As we come out of the pits, we're going to come out in P9. And it's all kicking off behind, as you can see there. That is with an alpha of Factory Bottas. Of course, he pitted. He was one of the numbers in this race. And now around the outside, he has to defend the racing point there. And does defend the racing point. It's Lewis Hamilton just behind them. And Lewis Hamilton getting past the... McLaren there of Lando Norris as there's a mistake there by Devon Butler his tyres looking like they're going off and Charles Leclerc goes through and when he locked up so did Pierre Gasly and this is the battle that we're catching now and it hopefully it won't be long before we're on the back of Devon Butler and it won't be long in fact as we are hunting Butler down we are going to do an absolute move and a half down the inside into the chicane then on the outside and we're just going to sail around the outside then it goes to the inside like it's nothing on to lap 23 now and it's all kicking off this is Roman Grosjean actually currently on the podium and now is he around the outside should be four rather he is battling away with Nico Hulkenberg he's had a great race from his penalty start 15 places and Nico Hulkenberg overtakes Roman Grosjean there and into P5 on to lap 24 and now we have caught the back of them and we're going to send it down the inside of Pit Gasly job done nothing else to say about that and now we can get on with it and try and catch Charles Leclerc as now heading through the chicane we are all over the back of Charles Leclerc and now we're going to catch the Claire napping and we're going to sail all the way around the outside. That then goes back to the inside and then it will go back to the outside again and we get 
past the Monogast fairly easily there. That was actually a really good move watching that back now. And just a couple of corners later, we will be on the back of of Roman Grosjean down the inside. We absolutely send it, lick the stamp and send it, Danny Rick style there. And on to the next lap. And we will have Nico Hulkenberg, who's actually, we thought about it, but then he went for it very late on Antonio Giovinazzi. And why not? I'm optimistic. So let's go for it down the inside of both of them. And we get past both of the cars then both drivers and they're still battling away and that puts us into p3 of this hungarian grand prix skipping on to lap 27 here comes nico hockenberg all the way around the outside of antonio giovinazzi in the mclaren gets the job done there's a sprint race there into in turn two and nico hockenberg gets the job done in his McLaren on top 28 and here comes Charles Leclerc getting past Roman Grosjean into terms one Grosjean going wide Pete Gasly fought about it down the inside of his fellow countryman Frenchman and now on to lap 29 here comes Pete Gasly past Roman Grosjean there Grosjean can he defend to the outside no no he can't and Grosjean gets the job done and can get on with probably falling further down the order and now on to the final lap George Russell fair play he has pulled off the wonder strategy the strategy they all want and he is going to win in Hungary fair play George that is a good result good win for the team and second is going to go to Sebastian Vettel and third would you believe it it is going to be back to back third places for us this season Germany and now Hungary what a result it's been coming for a while this one what an excellent win for Williams Anthony Davidson what helped them deliver this result do you think it was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams, and they've got the race win to prove it. So that's been your 2021 Hungarian Grand Prix, a double podium for Williams. If you would have predicted that at the start of this video, I probably would have taken your hand off. Bit of a slow burner, but sometimes they're the best races. Just take Brazil for an example. In the constructors though, George Russell has leapfrogged us again and we're nine points behind him now in the constructors not doing too bad back into the paddock contract renegotiation and i thought the contract before it wasn't too bad um definitely could be improved so this is the opportunity to do that um weren't good on the first couple of chances and we failed it and if you actually pause the video at 1417 at that point you will see that we were literally a pixel off of getting this contract and we've been left with the last one which isn't great luckily we had the team's original offer to fall back on um we're gonna make one change on the engine side we have two upgrades coming for belgium one on the aero side and one on the engine side so hopefully that will help us we got we have to do a rival so i decided to pick battery bottas because reasons but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button absolutely smash it for that podium subscribe for weekly f1 content and i will see you in the next one goodbye